Uh, my name is Alice Kerubo Kibagendi. And um, I'm a mother of two. I always say I'm a mother of two because I am. My late Amara, and uh, currently I have a two-year-old, two, two and a half, Anaya. Baby Amara died aged only six months on 2nd March 2012, a devastating loss to a newlywed just getting to enjoy the thrills of motherhood. I lost Amara on the evening of 2nd of March after a choking incident that happened at home. I was on my way from work when I was called and I was told there has been an accident and I need to rush home. Amara choked over feeding. She was being fed a meal of mashed potatoes uh, with milk, it was light enough. Alice, a new mother then, had no basic first aid skills. Neither did her nanny or parents who were with the baby at the time. Two months after losing her first child, Alice embarked on a healing journey. She says she felt strongly the need to help others, new mothers especially, what prompted the birth of a Mara initiative. The initiative is strictly to push for knowledge in terms of basic first aid. And not just at home, not just for the babies, but for everybody. Because I find like in our society, basic first aid is not as important as it should be. Baby, baby you're choking, baby. The basic training, Alice says, should be imparted to a new mother before she leaves hospital with her baby. Though first aid is not a guarantee for saving a life, it is better than not knowing what to do when an accident occurs. And the trainer was telling us that you can actually lose a child in six minutes if the child is ah, choking. Good. And I know six minutes is not enough for you to get from your house to a hospital in our setup. We know that worldwide about 70% or more of choking occurs in, in children, and more specifically in children less than one year, who we call as infants. But it can, it keeps, the statistics are still higher up to the age of about four years. Most choking cases occur when the parent or guardian is distracted. When you're feeding a child, you need to concentrate uh, so that you are feeding. And that means you, you give the child food, you look at them as they are feeding. Because a simple distraction on watching TV or something else in the house, maybe the time when the child chokes. Rule number two, do not put too much food in their mouth. We know that many children like mouth pocketing. They you put in food and they don't want to swallow, you force to put in a bit more. That increases the likelihood of choking. If choking occurs in a child under one year, this is what you need to know and do. Nivema ku kama umeketi, uendelea kuketi, usupport airway yake vizuri, ndo kichwa isi gonge gonge juu na chini, ikuwe farm, msupport kwenye mkono, kama ya wezekana ikiwa mtoto ni mzito zaidi, mweke kwenye mgu, msupport vizuri, hapa katikati ya shoulder blades, tunapea five back blows. Moja, bili, tatu, ine, tano. Kama haijatoka, tunapindua mtoto, tunamangalia juu. Tazama kwa haraka kama bado akona ufahamu, na kama uniza kuona kitu kwenye mdomo, sioni hapa. Kisha kuja kwenye kifua. Katikati ya kifua kwenye huu mfupa wa katikati, unaitua sternum. Peana tunasema chest thrust, hapo katikati. Ukielekea upande ya njia mdomo, moja, bili, tatu, ine, tano. Kama haitoki, pindua tena. Rudia back blows, hadi ile object imetoka. Bili, tatu, nasikia imetoka. If you're choosing or selecting play equipment for children, especially below the age of three years, we emphasize that it should not be large enough to go through their mouth. And a simple rule is on the tissue roll, the tissue roll that we have tissue on, if the object you have selected as a toy equipment can go through that hole, it is large enough to go through the child's mouth and therefore can cause choking. The Amara Initiative organizes monthly training. Alice says she hopes the knowledge on basic first aid is given to all to avoid others going through what she did and save lives. Masi Kandia Tanui, Monday Special.